Hello guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel, Sam Kelly here. And today's video is going to be my Amazon favorites, but PA school edition. So what that means is that basically I've been going crazy preparing for PA school. If you guys know, I will be starting at the end of August, technically fall semester. So a lot of you guys have been wondering what I've been doing to prepare for PA school. And one of the things is buying a bunch of stuff I need. And a lot of the stuff I've been buying has been from Amazon. So I love watching Amazon favorites videos. So I thought it would be fun to kind of turn it into something that you guys would enjoy. And that would just be me showing you everything I've been getting so far to prepare for PA school. And it just so happens to all be from Amazon. So I hope you guys enjoy. And if you're preparing for PA school too, I hope that you can benefit from some of these items that I'm going to be showing you today. A lot of it is electronics, desk and organizational things, as well as some other random things mixed in there. But that's how I'm going to organize it in those three categories, just to make it a little bit easier for you to be able to find. And I will organize it like that down in the description box where I will have all the links to everything. If something isn't available anymore, I'll link a similar product to the one that I have, but I think everything should be available. I'll be holding up some of the products today or be popping up an image or be popping up a video of it in action, I guess you could say. And just a disclaimer, nothing is sponsored. So that would be cool though if I could have an Amazon sponsor. But yeah, let's get on with the video. So we're gonna start with electronics because that's my biggest category that I have. So basically, if you watch some of my other videos, you know that PA school starting this fall will be a hybrid method. I go in for labs, but lectures will be online. So I'll be doing that at home. So I have a desk set up. So I'll be showing you a lot of the electronics I've gotten to really optimize my desk setup. The first product, not too exciting, sorry guys, is an adapter for a Mac. So I got the Amazon Basics one because why do I need a fancy one? I have a monitor over here that I'll be using and to hook my Mac laptop up to it I will need one of these guys since it doesn't have a USB adapter that way I can put my lectures or my notes on the big screen versus my laptop next I have a Bluetooth keyboard it's kind of bright and this is white okay there we go so I have this Bluetooth keyboard it is kind of like a dupe for the Mac version I just wanted something to match my laptop because I have the silver MacBook just a standard Bluetooth keyboard. It is battery operated. The review said that the batteries lasted a very long time. I wanted a Bluetooth keyboard just in case I wanted to move around my house, go to my kitchen island, or I could be here, or I could be on my couch, wherever I wanna be. I just didn't wanna be constricted to a wire, especially when using that monitor, since my laptop will be closed and I won't be able to use that keyboard anyway. I didn't see the need for spending money on a super expensive keyboard like the Mac version. I just wanted something that looked aesthetically pleasing like the Mac version of it and one that matches my laptop colors, but you don't need to spend a lot just to type. Another electronic that I got is a mouse. I know it doesn't really look like a mouse. So this one I got, it's super thin. It start, it connects to Bluetooth and turns on once you fold it. And then you kind of hold it in your hand like this. It has right click and left click. So I really liked that. It's really lightweight, which is cool. Not the best quality, but you kind of get what you pay for with it. Also Bluetooth, wanted to make sure it was wireless. The reason why I got this one was I like how it extended flat. That way, if I wanted to travel with it, I could. So if I was studying at the library or bringing it to school, it would fit very easily into my backpack. Sometimes the laptop mouse track thing gets a little annoying and it's a lot easier just to use a traditional mouse. Oh, and just also to mention the keyboard and the mouse, I made sure also worked with my iPad in case I wanted to connect them to that as well. The next thing is, I'll pop up a picture because I can't really hold it up because it's plugged in next to my bed. The next thing is, a kind of an Apple products dock. So I have it on my nightstand, which also I can move to my desk since they're kind of like in the same corner together. And basically what it does is it's an all-in-one purpose charger. It just has one cord, one plug, and then I lay my phone on it. I can put my Apple watch on it, my Apple pencil on it, as well as my AirPods. I know I have a lot of Apple crap, but I thought it was really convenient and it made my nightstand look cleaner or if I needed all those products on my desk, it can just be all in one spot, not all laying with all the different cords. I just thought it looked nice. Definitely not a need, 
but definitely an organizational thing. That way your phone can be propped up if you need it for something while you're studying on your desk. And then you also know where your Apple Pencil is since I tend to kind of misplace that a lot. And I have a place to charge my watch because I always forget to charge my watch and put my AirPods. I just lose things, okay you guys? I needed everything in one spot and I hate a lot of cords. Okay, speaking of some of the things that I had on the dock, next is my AirPods. So you guys know what these are. I don't really have to go in depth. They're just Apple headphones. I don't know if you can see, there's some bite marks on it. Millie got it off the coffee table. Fun. Basically, they're just wireless headphones that automatically connect to your phone the second that you put them in. It's pretty cool. I like them. Didn't need them, but I definitely wanted good headphones that I could use to listen to lectures or edit these videos. That way things aren't playing out loud and being annoying because my boyfriend works from home right now. So. Headphones are definitely something that you'll need. You don't need AirPods, but I do highly recommend. I love them, I'm obsessed with them. You can get AirPods a lot of places, but I got them off Amazon because at the time I bought them, that was where it was the cheapest. So Amazon does have really good deals. I also have this case I bought for it. It's just a cheap silicone case, but I liked it because it stays on good. Like I said, I lose it a lot and basically, I just wanted to clip it to my keys or the inside of my backpack or something. So moving on to the next product, cause I kind of touched on it when I was talking about putting it on my Apple products charging dock. It is my Apple Pencil and this cover I got for it. So they kind of go together. So basically it's just the Apple Pencil that I use to write on my iPad with, cause I plan on using this for notes in school. I think you can use pretty much any stylus for your iPad. I just read the best reviews on this Apple Pencil and it said that it felt the most like writing on paper with your iPad, if that makes sense. This is my first time taking electronic notes, so I wanted to make sure it was just an easy transition. I got this on Amazon as well because they were having a sale around Black Friday and it was, I think it's normally $100, but I got it for $79. So definitely if you're getting any of these electronics, especially the bigger guys, to look around Black Friday or any type of sale on Amazon because that's when they're usually the cheapest and they sometimes do have the best deals. And then I got this silicone case. It matches my AirPods case. And I highly recommend the case just because it makes the grip easier. You can kind of see that it makes it thicker. Otherwise it's just all this thickness all the way down. So it makes the grip better for when writing. And then I especially like it because it keeps the top of the Apple Pencil, which normally would just come off and you disconnect for when you're charging it. So I was scared I was gonna lose the top of this. So I just thought that this was the best solution. The only bad thing about putting a case on your Apple Pencil is that if you get a iPad case that has a slot for the Apple Pencil, usually it won't fit with the silicone case over it. That's one thing to think about because I originally got a case that held the pencil, but then when I put this on it, it didn't fit. And lastly for electronic stuff is the case for my iPad. So this is just a plain navy blue case, nothing overly fancy. It's just one of those traditional cases where if you want to take notes on it, you can set it up like, let's see if I could do it, on your desk like this. So it is slightly raised or you can have it completely flat, whatever, and fold it 100% back. Or if you're watching videos on it, this is how I watch Netflix on it. I just put it upright like this or if you need to watch lectures on it, there you go. Simple, inexpensive. I just got navy because I like navy. It comes in like a million colors and it was cheap. All right, that is it for electronics. Now I'm gonna kind of go into more of like other desk organizational things. So the first one being this lamp for my desk. I originally posted a picture of my desk set up to my Instagram story and I had you guys kind of look at it and be like, what am I missing? Those of you who are already doing online PA school, what am I missing for my desk? And Everyone so kindly reminded me that I was missing a lamp. So there's not much room on my desk area for a lamp. And I have a lamp right on my nightstand, which is like the opposite corner. So if this is my desk, that's the corner of the room. My nightstand's there, which has a lamp on it. And I thought it would kind of be weird to put another tall lamp right in the corner next to my nightstand lamp. Anyways, I'm getting too aesthetically weird with the lamp setup going on. And like I said, there's not a lot of surface area on my desk to put a lamp because the monitor takes up a lot of the room. So I ordered this off Amazon and this is a clip desk lamp. So I can take it on and off because when my boyfriend's on the desk, he doesn't really like the lamp or need the lamp. And even though I'm gonna be using electronics that glow up, in case I'm not using electronics or it gets dark, I'm studying at 10 p.m., I wanted to be able to have the option to put a lamp on my desk. So I was like, what better way than this clip desk lamp thing? whatever it is. So I clip it onto the side of my desk and it has like a wire thing so I can move it anywhere I want. And then it also has three settings for the light, 
One is, I think, like a neutral color, a cooler tone color, and then a warmer tone color. And then you can also adjust the brightness. So I just thought this was a good option to have and I could take on and off so that way it doesn't ruin the aesthetics of my room that I care so much about. <laughs> Next is my desk pad. So instead of just getting a mouse pad, I decided to get a desk pad, which takes up almost the whole surface of my desk, which I can easily move my mouse on. So I don't need a separate mouse pad, but it also kind of keeps my work area clean and it's like soft. This doesn't really matter, but I also was like, if I'm putting my coffee or something spills, it's not ruining the top of the desk itself. It's just on the desk pad, which is easily wipeable. And I thought it looked good. So here's a picture of it that I'll pop up. Definitely not a need, but definitely adds some small luxury to my work area. So the next item for organizational stuff is this electronic stand. So in it, it has two slots and I can put my laptop and my iPad in it when I'm not using them. That way I'm not just leaving them around. Everything has a place and then I can keep my work area clean because I can close my laptop when it's connected to the monitor. So I want it off of the work area so I have plenty of space to work and take notes and do whatever. It is very sturdy, so it holds up my 13 inch Mac book air and then it also holds up my seventh generation ipad and it also has adjustable slots so the slot i want to put my ipad i can make it smaller so that it holds it more firmly next i have my planner so yes it seems like i'm doing everything electronic but one thing that i just cannot go electronic for is my planner so i use these in undergraduate school and i loved them these are the at a glance appointment calendars so the reason why i like the appointment calendars is it has day, your days hour by hour. I think it starts at 7 p.m. and it goes all the way down to 10 p.m. basically. I'm the type of person that likes to plan out my day hour by hour. I will schedule a nap in, I will schedule my lunch time. And then this way I can just see my day more clearly, especially when you have class after class, it kind of helps you keep track of your class time, where your free time is, things like that. This is just how I like to visually look at my daily schedule and it's really helpful. Even though it is kind of tall and big, it's like a normal eight by 10 notebook, but it's really thin. So this is for a full year. It's just a preference, but if you're someone who likes to plan out their day hour by hour like me, then these appointment calendars are perfect for you. Okay, now we're in our other category. This is a really short category. It is the last category that we have. And the first thing that we have is beautiful clogs. They are Crocs Mira Pro 2 clogs. So you can see they're not as bulky as what like dance goes would be. I originally got these when COVID started at my hospital. Don't worry, those are wiped down clean, all the COVID's off of them. And I wanted something that I can easily wipe down with like purple wipes and just get all the bacteria and stuff off of them. And then when I was buying them, I also thought they'd be perfect for PA school for when we do cadaver lab. So people always say use old shoes or buy really cheap shoes that you would wear into cadaver lab that you don't mind throwing out after. I'm assuming it's because of the fluids in the formaldehyde. So I thought those would be perfect to wear into cadaver lab because I can easily wipe them off. They won't smell if something gross gets spilled on them. I think a lot of people had the same idea when buying them for COVID. So unfortunately the price has gone up a little bit. I think I originally got them for about 40, which I didn't think was too bad. But if you don't care about the print or the color, then those are perfect. And if they don't get too ruined during the cadaver lab, I'll definitely use them probably on a surgery rotation where clogs are preferable just because standing in the OR, it's more comfortable. Maybe I'm being ambitious and thinking that, I don't know might end up throwing them out. But if you're looking for a cheap pair of clogs, and I mean cheaper than like dance goes, which are a hundred plus dollars, then these are a really good pair of clogs for you. I do suggest going a half size up. That's what my coworker suggested to me. And I'm normally a seven and a half. So I ordered the eight and they work perfect for me. So I highly recommend. Then lastly, I have Pants Prep Pearls. Okay, these are the newest version. I got them for Christmas from my dad. Thanks dad. And this is version A and version B. So the newest version, which is version three, it comes in two separate books now so that you can kind of, if you know you just need this book, you only need to bring this book with you. Kind of makes it easier to carry around. This is just a holy grail book that everyone has been talking about. A lot of my friends to the Instagram community mentioned that this is a must have. So I'm excited to finally get some use out of it. A lot of them use it not only for studying for the pants, but also during didactic year because of the way it's laid out. It makes all the information condensed in one spot, an easy way to study as a secondary resource during didactic year. And then of course you can review it when you're studying for the pants at the end of your PA school career. So there's other places you could get it, but I got it off Amazon because that was 
was the cheapest at the time. The author of these books are Dwayne A. Williams. He's an awesome PA that is also on the Instagram community that I've talked to before. He wrote these books himself after he went through PA school and realized that there was just a resource missing and now I think this is probably one of the most used PA student resources out there. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm not even kidding. Every single PA student literally talks about these all the time and always recommends them as the number one thing you need as a PA student. All right, I think that's it guys. That was, I believe 14 products that I talked to you about and all of them I bought in preparation for PA school, either to get my desk ready, get myself organized and ready, or study resources, or clogs, or just all electronics that I felt like I would need. So if you are preparing for PA school, these are some of the items that other people have recommended to me to buy, and these are where I got them on Amazon. So a lot of these products I've tested out since I've had them now for a while leading up to school, and I love them. Maybe I will do a another video halfway through my first semester talking about the products I actually use that are must-haves. So comment down below if you think you'd like to see that video. I hope you guys like this video. I love Amazon favorites videos. So I'm glad I can make this a preparing for PA school version for you guys. If you liked what you saw here today, please do not forget to subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of the family. And thank you so much for those of you who are subscribers and keep coming back and watching my videos again and again. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. It lets me you know what videos you guys like and it really helps out my channel so much as always if you have any content you'd like to see from me or this channel always comment that down below i'm always willing to listen and i will add to the list of videos that i am planning on doing for you guys all right guys until next time see ya